Hi guys, this is Chandeep Chhabra at Gurli. Hope you guys are doing great. In today's session, we're going to discuss something about creating an action button uh, for a particular action that you would want to do in PowerPoint. Let's just go and have a look at the case that we have. So we have uh, a slide here. Uh, this slide talks about a company overview, uh, how the company has done historically. So in, from 2007 to 2014, what all businesses has the company ventured into and uh, the company now wants to speak about its new business. So this is the new business I study. They're launching in, uh, in early January 2014. Uh, some information about you know, shareholding pattern and you know, some other details in the slide. Now what I want to do on the slide is that I would like to create a button somewhere on the slide uh, or like, like to give an option to the user of the slide that if they would like to see the website of the company or if they would like to see the revenues of the company from 2007 to 2014 it can just be availed at just a click of a button so let's see how we can do that okay so the first thing that uh, i'm sure that we're going to need is a button uh, which we're going to have uh, you know placed in the insert tab so i'm going to go to insert tab to create that button in the insert tab i'm going to go to shapes and the shapes i'm going to scroll over till the end to find something called as action buttons in the end. Now in the action buttons, uh, almost all of the action buttons uh, work in the same way, it's just that the icons of different buttons are, uh, the icons are different for the different buttons. So I'm going to pick up this one, action button for information, select it, zoom in at my area where I want to place this. So let's say this is the area where I want to place the action button. I'm just going to draw the action button. So I think that should be it. Okay. So a, as soon as I kind of uh, leave the click after I'm done drawing the action button, it automatically populates a dialog box and it asks me the following. The first thing that it asks, it, it is asking me is that do you want this button to be activated over a click? Or do you want this uh, action button to be activated over a mouse over uh, when you kind of hover your mouse over this button it will be uh, the action that you're giving will be activated so let's say as of now I'm just uh, you know linking it to a click so let's say that yes I want to uh, I would want to go with a click uh, action on the click I would like to hyperlink it to let's say uh, a URL which is uh, the website of the company so as of now this is just a hypothetical case so I'm just going to put in any website so let's say for example facebook.com is the website I say ok so I have kind of uh, linked this action button to a hyperlink to a URL called facebook.com and I say alright now, uh, if you just take a look at this action button, uh, it's looking pretty weird, standing out weird. Uh, so, I'm just going to format this a bit. Taking off the outlines, uh, I am filling it with white color. And in order for in order for someone to understand that uh, this action button pertains to an action which leads you to the website, I'm, I need to put it down, you know, in text here. So I'm going to choose a black color for my text and I'll start writing that uh, so I'll start writing that um, click or rather visit our website. I'll put it down in a very small font, 12 point size, and maybe just a couple of Formatting things around here, uh, italics, change the font to match this, place it here. Right? Okay. Now, when I do uh, a presentation view, so this is my present slideshow view, sorry. When I do a slideshow, slideshow view, this button 
is actually hyperlinked to facebook.com so if I click here it takes me to facebook.com so let's see if it takes me yes it does so see facebook.com it has taken me to the website facebook.com now let me just show you another uh, thing that you can do you can now let's say for example you are showing how you have progressed from 2007 to 2014 and instead of linking this hyperlink linking this button to a website I would want to show that how the company has done in terms of revenues so uh, I would like to open an excel sheet when I click at this button so I'm going to right click at this and I'm going to say edit the hyperlink to edit this uh, the action settings and let's choose the second option now which is a mouse over so now when I take my mouse on top of it or hover my mouse over it I would want to link it to a file and I'm just going to choose the file let's press it on my desktop uh, I think revenue chart this is the file that I've pre-made just like a cooking show so and I'm just gonna say all right okay now just take a look at my mouse so I'm just gonna take my mouse uh, and hover it and just like that it has taken me to the Excel spreadsheet which shows me the revenues I'm just gonna close it so I hope you found this trick useful and uh, I hope you are also making great uh, presentations at your work. Uh, thank you very much for joining me in this video and do take care of yourself.